What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? It is your girl, Rita, and I am here to do an, quick, an, a quick video for you guys. It's impromptu, it's at the last minute, and I decided to just bring you guys along. But before we get started, make sure you give me a thumbs up for this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And now we're just going to get right on into it, baby, because I got to get ready. It's a Saturday, and we have a Saturday night game tonight. Go Cowboys. Yes, I said go Cowboys. I'm a ride or die, and they keep my blood pressure high. But that's okay. That's neither here nor now. So let's get right into this video. I'm going to be making some pulled pork sandwiches tonight. Now, if you want to know how I do my baked beans that I'm going to be making with this, just make sure you go to see what Rita's cooking baked beans, and you will see how I do these baked beans that I'm going to be pairing with these delicious pulled pork sandwiches. Now, normally I would make me a caramelized onion to go on top of there, but today I'm just keeping it easy breezy. I'm going to throw this um, pork shoulder butt into my um, roasting oven, and I am going to top these sandwiches with some um, dill pickles and some slaw, baby, and it's going to be bum. So let me show you some things that I do because you have to do a little prep and you have to do a little, you know, things before you put it into whatever you're going to be putting into in, it into the oven, the slow cooker, or whatever you're going to be putting it into. You need to get it ready for that so that when you leave, what is this? Who is that? That's a little, oh, okay. So when you get it into wherever you're going to uh, cook it in, that um, it will be... Uh, Good to go. You won't have to mess with it because you want to let it just um, cook for a minimum, at least three hours without you even opening it. Okay. So like I said, I have some pork shoulder, but I trimmed it. Uh, you're going to get some fat in, bet in between the layers with pork and you're going to get some fat on the outside. I took a lot of that outside fat off, but let me show you what I do just to get what I'm cooking it in ready i'm not going to be searing it off that's another thing that i do sometimes just when i have a lot of time and i really want to just baby the pork but today baby i i haven't even had no coffee so my attitude is, is kind of short you know i i don't i've been quick with people so i'm trying to get the starbucks because i don't know what they're doing with their hours they closing all whenever the hell they get ready they ain't closing in no specific time i mean they're throwing me off y'all for real so let me show you what i do now you can boil this this little mixture that i'm about to uh show you guys i guess i could get this little trash bag out of y'all face but like i said honey i'm throwing stuff in the trash i'm getting stuff ready and i'm trying to get out of here before this stuff bus clubs and let this stuff start to doing what it needs to do but okay so my roasting oven it's on 300 okay and uh i don't know the size of this thing but i know i bet i've done a whole giant turkey in here so i think it's about 20 something quarts i'm not sure y'all but it's big okay it's big See my hand compared to, let me see if I can let it up a little bit so you can get a picture of the whole thing. All right, all right, all right, all right. There you go. So these are the things that I put in it. Now, I don't do no measuring because I don't have to, but uh, you probably will have to. So I'm going to tell you what I do as far as seasoning my pork. I do about two tablespoons of seasoning per two pounds. So, um, I have a, like a 10 pound pork butt shoulder that I cut up and broke down. So I'll be doing about two, four, six, eight, ten 10 tablespoons for the meat. And when I do that, but this is for my braising liquid. Okay. You have to be, you have to have something to break that meat down in. So that's what this is. I have a whole onion that I have cut up. And like I said, you can go on the stove and do this. And, and you know, get it into a boil and all that. I'm not doing all that, child. I have me some uh, mustard. You would probably do about a third of a cup of mustard. We just gonna go down our fin here to the God's say. You did that, Rita. Thank you, gods. Okay, now I'm gonna be putting me some um, Louisiana hot sauce in here. This is optional. I, I, I told you I ain't had no coffee. This is optional, okay? 
Just just splash you some in there. You know how your spice level is, okay? Just put you some in there. Then I'm gonna put me some. Uh, you can use Dijon mustard, but I don't use Dijon mustard. I use that this southern uh, mustard that I get from Walmart. Walmart is a southern hot, and I'm just gonna go down in here. Like I said, none of these are measurements. These are just what I'm using to get the braising down. Okay, and then I'm gonna use me some uh, Worcestershire, Worcestershire Worcestershire sauce. You don't want to use a lot of this. This is just for taste. But like I said, I have a bunch of meat, okay? And then I'm going to use about a cup of my apple cider vinegar, okay? I might as well just go and use his own look, okay? And the same about some light beer, okay? So we got Worcestershire sauce. We've got ketchup. We've got um, mustard. We've got... Um, what else? Hot sauce. I'm going to use the last little bit of this um, sweet and spicy Sweet Baby Ray's uh, barbecue sauce. I'm going to put that down in here. Okay. Did I get it all? I want it all. I want it all. And I want it now. Yes, girl. I'm going to put me some um, liquid smoke. I will put all of this in the description box. Please make sure you're accept accessing that description box. Because as y'all know, I just I just be throwing stuff together. I'm going to give me a spoon. Give me a little old spoon around, chunk. And I'm going to mix this all together. It's going to be my braising liquid. Now, braising liquid only means that you're going to put your meat in there and it's going to help break your meat down, okay? I'm going to put me a little bit of brown sugar in here as well. And then I'm going to show you how I go about seasoning my pork, okay? I'm going to put the top on here and I'm going to just let this do what it do, okay? Taste a little bit. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go right up in here with us some brown sugar. Got a good taste. I'm gonna put a little bit more barbecue sauce in there. Barbecue sauce, because you know I say barbecue. I'm okay, going barbecue. Mm-hmm. Barbecue sauce. I'm gonna put some more barbecue sauce in there. Up in there. About a cup, you guys, because I'm gonna use the other cup for the pork, okay? How much is this? This is probably about 16 ounces, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? So we're gonna do that. Don't they look good already? You're gonna get some liquid from your pork, but not a lot. It's pork, so we know that it is a, you know, like a white meat, right? So yeah. Coming along, you're building us flavors. Now, I would normally put this on the oven, like I said, on the stove, and I'll let this bubble all up and get all married and stuff, and then I'll put it in what I'm going to cook it in. But today, I'm just doing the easy breezy one. I would normally uh, sear off my meat as well, just to get that caramelization on that meat, you guys. That's the stuff you do when it's a special occasion. You, you entertaining. You got people coming. I ain't doing none of that today. It's just going to be easy breezy. Easy breezy eat, honey. When I get this on, I'm going to throw on me some tennis shoes. And I'm going to fly up to um, Starbucks so fast, honey. I'm going to fly up there so fast. All right. That's that. I'm going to just throw just a little bit of splash of kosher salt in here just to wake all of these flavors up, okay? That's it. All right, that's it for the braising. Um, when I get my meat in here, 
I'm going to put me a can of light beer in there. And that's going to be what we braise in, okay? So let's just chop this off and let's go over to the sink and I'll show you how we season our meat. Okay, so what I do with my pork shoulder and my pork butt, butt you guys, I kind of cut it down into these big chunks like this. Well, that ain't big, but I just cut it down. That was off the bone. I thought this was boneless as well, too. But I just cut it in some big pieces so that I can get that seasoning in between and all around and all of that. That's what I want to do. So the first thing you got, I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm going to take me some oil, some vegetable oil, you guys. And I'm just going to put it all over this meat. Now, this meat is room temperature, okay? So uh, it's not cold, you know. It's room temp, and I'm just going to do this like this, okay? Now I'm going to take me some, um, don't worry, you guys. I'm going to be wiping everything down with my wipes when I finish before I put anything back in the cabinet or anything in the refrigerator. It will get wiped down, so please don't worry, you guys. I can't get you sick from here. And you ain't coming up here. So, okay, so everybody just chill. Okay, so I'm going to take me some minced garlic. Now, I really like to, in this case, take me a couple of pieces of slices of um, fresh garlic and put it kind of inserted into this meat. And the flavor is just magnetic. I mean, it's just burst with flavor when I do it like that. But like I said, today is just a Saturday, uh, easy breezy day. And we're going to be eating these while we watch the game. And it ain't nothing special, you know. It's not a special occasion, you know. And it's still going to be delicious the way that I'm going to do it. You know, I'm not, uh, what are you saying, compromising any taste or anything today. I'm just not doing all my extra steps today. Okay, but feel free to season your meat and sear it off in you a, uh, a pan or, or a pot or whatever. If you have a pot that goes straight to the oven, you can sear your meat off in there and go straight to that oven with that meat. And it will make such a difference, you guys, okay? So what I have right here, I have me some dry barbecue rub, okay? I always use this on my, uh, when I do, uh, my pulled pork or my pulled chicken or my pulled beef. I always use this barbecue rub. It just gives it a good flavor. And remember, we have that, um, liquid smoke also in our, um, in our braising liquid. So that's just going to be flavor on top of flavor, right? Okay. And like I said, two tablespoons, Per two pounds. So basically what I'm saying is a tablespoon per pound of seasonings, okay? Don't make it hard for yourself. Now, this is some smoked paprika. We're going to go right down on here with that as well. Remember, you got big pieces of meat, you guys, okay? And you just want people to taste flavor in everything. You don't want them to go somewhere after they done had your pulled pork sandwiches and have them somewhere else and say, <laughs> Is this what Rita was trying to make? Because, baby, it, it, this, I, this, she didn't make this. You want them to go have pork, pull pork somewhere and say, Shh, man, Rita needs to tell, they need to tell Rita or Colleen, they need to tell them, they need to tell my foodie bro uh, to make this next time because his is way better than this. You know, you want them to do that. You don't want them to be talking about, child, that mess was, didn't have a lick of seasoning, furious of all. And then, it just, mm -mm, it, it, I ate it, though, because it was free. You don't, want, you don't want to be like that. Okay? That was some black pepper. And now, you guys, I'm going to put me some cumin on here. Now, of course, I couldn't have everything be open. This is a brand new cumin, so let me open it right quick. Put me some cumin on there. So, so we got kosher salt. We got smoked paprika. Let me get something to open this. Where's my knife? We got um, let me see. smoked paprika, kosher salt. We got a dry barbecue rub. We got some garlic powder. We've got some pepper. And now we're going to put some cumin on there, right? Cumin. Now, this is a lot of seasonings, you guys. And you, don't, you can use some of my seasonings, all of my seasonings. 
none of my seasonings and if you don't use none of them i don't know really why you are here but <laughs> that ain't my business that's yours okay we're gonna put us uh, some onion powder in here one or two tablespoons i gotta sneeze <laughs> let me go way over here Whew, excuse me y'all that pepper get me every time <clears throat> Ooh. Okay. Now we're gonna put us some a little just a little cayenne on there, y'all. Just a little. That's me. That's how I do. I love some hot stew, child. I like my nose to be running when I eat it. I know. That's some old what they call that stuff when you you doing weird stuff. <laughs> What they call that stuff when you be doing weird stuff. I know y'all don't know what I'm talking about. And a little chili powder. And a little dry mustard. So let me go over those again. Okay? We got some kosher salt. We got some black pepper. We got some uh, kosher salt, black pepper. I'm going to line them up. We got us some cumin. We got us some dry barbecue rub. We got us some garlic powder. We got us some onion powder. Smoked paprika, cayenne, chili powder, and mustard powder. Dry mustard, okay? That's what's going on this meat, and you can already know. Just buy those flavorings that this meat is going to be delicious. And now, all we got to make sure that it does is that it cooks up, you know, the way we want it, that it and that it gets uh, tender and, you know, fall off the bone. Gotta buy my black, my brown sugar. We're gonna put about a cup of brown sugar on there as well, you guys. And now we're just gonna love on it and we're gonna mix all this stuff together. And we're just gonna take our hands, you guys. Sometimes you just gotta pick that thing up and you just gotta massage it. <laughs> ah, Lord, I missed it. Okay. I'm talking about this pork now. If you thinking about it time, guys. <laughs> I can't do nothing about this. I ain't say nothing about nothing else. I said something about some poke. Okay, some poke. <laughs> Pokey, wokey, wokey. Okay. So massage it. Meanwhile, you know, we got our uh, brazen liquid. It's over there and it's getting all, you know, getting all acquainted and stuff. They they over there loving on each other. Those onions talking to talking to that um, you know, to the Western Shore sauce and everybody's just over there, you know, they just hanging, wondering when the meat coming. It's coming, y'all. It's coming. So you just wanted to get in there. Like I'm actually like putting some little pinches in there in that meat and I'm just, you know, I'm just making sure it's seasoned. And you can see I took off a good amount of that bag of fat that be back there. And that's because it's fat marbled in between here. You want some fat because, like I said, it's a dry meat. But then you don't want a lot of fat. You don't want everybody, every time they take a bite, they got a mouth full of fat. You know what I'm saying? That's unpleasing to the palate. Um, but at the same time, you need some fat. So it's, it's a game. And, then, and the more you do it, you know, the more you will... Um, appreciate it and understand what you need to do for for the texture and for the taste that you like you might say girl that's too much seasoning i can't do all that season you know take some of your favorites out of the ones that i'm picking and you just go from there okay this is just how i do it because i am a flavored person and if it's not flavored good i don't care how much it costs i'll be my mouth be turned to the side and i'll be like girl i could have made this at the crib okay let's be real Okay, so we're going to go back over here to our uh, to our roasting pot. And we're going to put this in our roasting pot. And then we're just going to leave it. Three hours for sure. And then two more hours after that, I ramp up the, uh, the temperature. So let's go back over here. Okay, so we're back over here with our little braising liquid. And we're just going to put our meat in here, you guys. Ain't no rules to it. Just going to put it in there. Make sure it's not all crowded on top of each other. Make sure everybody got them some room to spread their wings out and just cook and get done, okay? 
This right now is on 300 degrees, you guys, 300 degrees. And it's going to cook for three hours at least before I ramp it up. It is 2.30 now. The game comes on at 7.30, I think, or 7 o'clock. So this will not be messed with. Okay, I'm just going to put this in here just like this, y'all. Like this, like this, and like this. And uh, like I said, this is a 10-pounder. She's a big gal, okay? She thick bond, okay? She like me. She thicker than a snook, okay? But she gonna be used by the Lord, by the food gods today to make me a delicious sandwich, okay? So I got all of that in there. Now I'm gonna take that beer, you guys, a light beer, a lager, or whatever, lager, lager, whatever it's called. Beer. I don't drink beer, uh, so I don't know. But it does give this everything. It brings, kind of brings everything together um, when I do this. When I don't do it, I can't tell a difference, but it's still not something that's not edible just because it ain't got no beer in there. Everybody don't have no beer and everybody don't drink no beer. So that's, 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 that's what we're here for. We're here to be different from each other. So I'm just going to pour it right around the pork. You know, I'm just going to pour it around the pork, not directly on the pork, down in here in this braising liquid, just like this, you guys. You don't want to do this. You can definitely skip this. But um, I would say if you do drink beer and it, it, it's something that you have access to at your house, that you just go ahead on and do it at least once. And then if you don't like the taste of it, don't do it the next time. But I, I, I can't see you not liking it. I kind of guarantee that you'll like it. Then somebody come on here. I hated it and I wasted my whole pork shoulder just because you said that. Oh, girl. Some people just like the fuss. Okay, that's it. Now, everything, the only discipline we have to have now is don't open it. Leave it be. It is 245. And I won't touch this until 5, 45, 6 o'clock. And then I will ramp it up to about 425 or so for about an hour and a half to two hours. Okay. So that's that, you guys. And I will see you guys when we are done. I don't even know if I'm going to bring you back at that, that, uh, that three hour mark. I probably won't bring you back until it is done. Okay. So this is it, and I'll bring you back when we're ready to shred it, okay? See you in a little while, in a few minutes. Okay, you guys, so see, this is the meat at four and a half hours, and you see how tender it is at four and a half hours? Now, remember, this was like a 10-pound uh, pork butt shoulder, and it's, 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 it's pretty much, for the most part, is done, okay? What I'm going to be doing now, it was on 325 the whole time that it was in there. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be uh, shredding it up and just leaving it in this liquid for about another hour. Getting out any of this uh, fat that's just, you know, that's too much fat, girl. You got to go. Um, I don't see a lot of that in here, but um, I just want y'all to see the shred at, at uh, four hours, you know? It depends on what you're cooking it in, and if you just leave it alone and just let it do its thing, the oven and your liquid, it will do what it needs to do for you. You will not have to do any work, okay? I don't like it super, super shredded, but I do like it to be, you know, I don't want no big old giant pieces. It's not like it's uh, sliced beef or nothing like that. I still want it to be. Now see like that's that right there. That's a whole glob of fat. Now I don't want that in there. So I'll just move that to the side. Um but don't do that till uh till you start shredding it, you know? Before that, just let that fat stay in there. It's protecting your meat. It's it's keeping it moist and stuff like that. So don't mess with it. But this is all I do it. I want y'all to see just how tender it is coming out of that liquid and you can go over here and you can see how some of the caramelization took place in that liquid as well you see that i'm a shorty so it's hard for me to to uh shred it 
while it's in there i only have a couple of pieces that's in there but i wanted to get these really big pieces out and shred them the correct way uh but i'm gonna try to shred that while it's in there but you can see um that liquid is pretty pretty much gone not gone but it's 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 cooked down a lot you see that we got those onions in there they're very cooked and, and um, they're translucent and that's what you want you guys and then I'll just break these other little small pieces up, you know. But just look at how delicious this looks, you guys. It's going to be awesome on our sandwiches. I took me uh, two uh, different kinds of store-bought uh, potato salad. And I zhuzhed them up because I didn't feel like doing all of that, cutting up potatoes and, and all of that madness. Um, and then I did my beans, you guys. And so I am done. It is what? 5.59. You know, the game comes on at 7. And we are pretty much there, okay? This meat is super tender. It's going to be delicious. Like I said, we're going to be topping it with some dill pickles and some onions. Uh, I really might not even cut up no onions since I have some onions in here. But I'm going to be definitely putting my coleslaw mix on top of there. And me some pickles and baby, you talking about good. But see, that's got a big old piece of fat right there. So I'm gonna take this piece out and I'm going to break some of that fat down off there. But that's it as far as the breaking down. And next time you see me, my sandwich will be done, my plate will be ready, and we're gonna taste it, okay? Okay, you guys, I'm living on the edge by trying to end this video while this game is on. It's already starting and it's been on what? 15 minutes and I already pissed me off. So let's get this done. Now, as you can see, I have my shredded pork on this sandwich, my beans, and my um, potato salad. Now, I've added me some coleslaw. This is how I eat mine. And then I'm going to put me some dill pickle slices on here. Now, like I tell you, sometimes I do some, uh, some onions. But today, this is how I'm doing it. I'm going to hit it with just a little bit of sauce. And we just going to taste it. I already know it's delicious. My meat turned out so good. Okay, Lord, we thank you for this food. We thank you for this day and another opportunity to come before you and get it right, Lord. We thank you. Let this meal be a nourishment to our body. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So there we have it, you guys. Our pool pork sandwich I'm going to let you get you a little bite and then I'm going to get me a bite and we going to go and concentrate okay on this game just look at that look at that will you get you a bite honey delicious let me see I'm going to take me a bite and not try to eat it with a fork <laughs> here you go mmm 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 yes Everything mixes together so good. I love when I do this sandwich. And that coleslaw just does something for this sandwich, you guys. So please try it one time with the coleslaw and the pickles. I never stir you around, and I'm not about to start. This is my pulled pork. Remember to like this um, video. Mm. Comment. Share if you want to. Remember, you guys, your food. And all the way live until it's been really tired. One more bite before I go. I'll let you get back there. Mm. See you guys on the next one. Love y'all. Bye.